Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to create or add work items to work queue by using add work queue item action. As we know, work queue a list of work queue items that needs to be completed in a particular order. This list contains information about each item such as its name, enqueue time, completed on, status, priority, expires, expired, delay until, inputs, and process notes. Queue items can be loaded into a work queue through a desktop flow or cloud flow or in bulk which populate queue items. The queue items with data can be consumed by the downstream. Now, in this session, we will learn how to process these work items by using process work queue item action. There you can see in our previous tutorial, we have added bulk work queue items into the work queue that is product sales work queue. I need to process these items by using process work queue item action. Before that, let me clear this desktop flow. Let me drag and drop this process work queue item actions onto the workspace. To process work queue items in Power Automate, we can use process work queue item action. There you can see, this indicates to the orchestrator that the machine is ready to process one or more work items if available. Process work queue items action is used to designate which work queue to consume items from one process in our desktop flow. When we run this desktop flow, this action works by bringing in first or the oldest item from the work queue into our workflow that contains the status of queued. Once the queue items begins processing in our flow, its status automatically changes to processing. There you can see I'm having parameter called work queue. Let me drop down that. There you can see I'm having product sales work queue. Let me select that. And now if you switch to the Power Automate, there you can see we are going to select product sales work queue, which we are having work queue items as WQ, I1 and so on, right? And all these statuses are in queued. Now, once it has been queued, the variable which it is going to produce, that is work queue item, the details will be stored inside the variable. All right, let me click on save. Now, whenever you are going to run this desktop flow to process the work queue items, the status over here, it will be changed from queue to processing over here for each and every work item. To make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to use display message. Let me drag and drop this display message action onto the workspace inside my process work queue items. Let me drag and drop. Now parameter for this display message action, I will give message box title over here, such as the variable which we are going to produce from the process work queue items, right? In my process work queue items, what is the variable I'm having work queue item. Inside this work queue item, I will have name, enqueue time, completed on, status, priority, and all these properties will be available inside my work queue item variable. So that I'm going to display the message box title over here as I'm going to select the variable and then I'm going for the work queue item. There you can see I'm having ID, work queue ID, priority name. I'm going to give the name over here and then message to display, I'm going to select work queue item name over here as to display. All right, and then I'm going to click on save. Now, if you observe in my work queue, that is product sales work queue, the first item is that, or the oldest item is WQI1 is the one, which you can see over here on September 4th, I have created some work queue items. Along with that, there you can see, I'm having September 5th, I'm having some work queue items. These work queue items will be processed one by one by using process work queue item action, which is available in Power Automate desktop. And then what is the status? It will be changed from queue to process. All right, let me show you that. Let's run the desktop flow by clicking on run. Flow execution started. There you can see it is trying to process the work queue items by using process work queue item from the work queue that is product sales work queue. And the output for each and every work process item, it will be stored inside my work queue item. Correct? Once it has been processed, then the status will be changed from queue to processing. There you can see by using the display message, I'm going to display the work queue item name over there. There you can see I got the display message over here. That is name over here. I have given message as well as both the things I have given as name over there, 
right? So that the message box, it is showing it as WQI1, another one WQI1. Right now, we'll go again for the Power Automate. Let me refresh the work queues. There you can see, it is going to be status change to processing. All right, now let me click on OK. And then it is going for the second work queue item. There you can see I got WQI1 PID1. Let me click on OK. There you can see it is going for the third item PROD 07351. Let me click on OK. And then now we will see that once again. If you go back to the work queues, let me refresh once again. There you can see all the work queue items have been started processing one by one, right? How can you know that previously the status was queued and right now status has been changed? Now, this desktop flow will process almost all 240 plus of work queues. So that I'm going to stop over here. I hope you understand how to process the work items that need to be completed in the particular order, changing the status from queue to processing by using the action called process work queue item. As part of this tutorial, we have processed the work queue items from the work queue that is product sales work queue. All right.